vlog one Jelson convinced me I need to start doing the vlogs for you guys all right so today I'm headed into powerhouse gym to train chest and triceps it's gonna train back today but I'll do chest and triceps let's go I gotta get stronger. Fuck. I'm so fucking weak right now. This is huge language. I'm driven now. I'm pissed.
a better set. I can do like four and a half, five plates of this. I get the beginning of the workout, but this is at the end, so three plates felt like five or six plates. But this is the weakest that I'm gonna be in all of the prep. I'm gonna just keep getting stronger from here. As long as I just keep pushing myself in every set, you know, I might get frustrated on some sets because I feel weak, but you know what? I know where I'm willing to take my mind and my body in these next couple weeks, couple months, and this weight will be nothing in three or four weeks. I just gotta keep it in check here. Like I said, even though I'm getting frustrated on some of my sets because I know I can do more, but today, I'm giving my all, as long as I don't let this get to me. The weight is the same. Three plates on this machine is gonna be the same as three plates in a month. But where I can control my mind will depend on what it feels like when I lay back and do this same exercise in three or four weeks. Again, today, you're getting raw on me. I'm not always happy in the gym. I'm not very proud of myself sometimes with the weight that I lift, or the amount of reps that I get. But, I do pride myself on kicking ass. And that's what I do every day.
All right, so I'm back at home. It's been a few hours since I trained. I actually went and got um, a massage today. I was a little bit late. It was supposed to be an hour massage, but this is probably a total of max 20 minutes. So it wasn't much of a massage session. Eh, maybe enough just to, you know, deload some stress and uh, relax for a minute. But uh, yeah, I came home real quick, got my post-workout shake, which right now I'm making my mug cake out of cream of rice and whey protein. Uh, you guys can check that out on the Animal Pack YouTube, or uh, you can also, it's the same video, but you can check it out at DerekLunsford.com. I have it posted on there as one of the videos if you want to learn how to make my post-workout mug cake. But uh, that's not the point. I just wanted you guys to know I did make sure to get my post-workout meal in, went and got my 20-minute massage, came back and ate another meal, and it's been a couple hours since then. But to wrap up today's training, um, it was a chest and abs training session. Um, as far as how did it go, Every day I go to the gym, I progress. I am giving my all 100% every single day, no questions asked. Was it the weight that I wanted to lift? Was it the amount of reps that I wanted to lift? Was it overall something that I can say, this was a badass PR session? No, not at all. Um, but it was, like I said, it was a good training session because I got better. You know, every day is not going to be a PR or your best day in the gym. Mentally, I wanted it, but physically, I felt a bit weaker. And you know what? That's okay. This, that's part of it. I mean, going in the days that, you know, you don't want to be there or you feel like maybe you're not going to, you know be up to par with your training, but still giving a hundred percent. That's what it's about. That's why I say every day is a great day to get better. That's why I say set the standard and be the standard because most of the people out there, I'm not just saying most people in, in, in general, but most people who call themselves bodybuilders and say that they're dedicated and, uh, and more disciplined than anybody else that they know, most of those people aren't going to the gym the days they don't feel like it. And they sure as heck aren't putting it on social media the days they don't feel like it or they're not lifting it 100%. But I told you guys, you're going to get the real me. And I love to be positive. I love to be happy. And I always strive for that. But sometimes I do get frustrated just like anybody else. I'm not always hitting PRs and training like a wild man every single day, but I can promise you I'm giving my all 100% every single day. And that's what it's about. And that's why I'm going to continue to progress and set the standard for myself and keep beating myself because I know today's training session, like I said, wasn't a PR for me, but it will be that one extra building block for me to hit another PR here in a couple weeks. So not disappointed with the effort that I gave, not disappointed at all with today's training session. I'm actually quite proud of it, but I wanted you guys to see, you know, sometimes when you're mentally and physically not feeling up to it, what it looks like and having to stick it out and still give your all and keep going and not just say, ah, today's a bad day. I'm either not going to go to the gym or oh, I'm going to skip out early. Look, that's why I missed my hour uh, massage today. I was, pro I should be more bummed about that than anything. I was late to my massage because I had to get a few more sets in. And that to me is the mindset of a champion, not just going in and, you know, hitting top lifts every day you know, taking your shirt off and impressing the people around you. It's grinding, guys. But there you go. Wanted to give you a wrap up. Chest today was good. I stimulated the chest. 
I did have great pumps. I did bust out some decent weight. Um, and yeah, we progressed. That's what matters. Every day is a great day to get better. And today I got better. There you go.